You know, it's weird. After not making videos for so long, it's really kind of awkward to do it. But anyways, this is attempt number like three or four or something like that of, of making this video. I'm going to showcase you something that I have. Of course, everybody knows that, you know, I got my collection of light bars and, and uh, you know, this is only like a third of it. I've got my light bars. I've got my sirens. You know, I've got uh, everything, including my own fire hydrant so there was only one logical step that i had to still take in my collection now i've i've got a video posted i posted september of last year i ended up buying a big ticket item and it's right over that's fire truck of course that's the only next logical step right of course i've got you know my car that i use uh it is my pov for the fire department in case you didn't know yes i am on a fire department volunteer so anyways this is a 1975 ford cab over 8000 with a peter and i never say this name right because i don't know what it is peter pirish pierce i don't know if you can read it there there you go from kenosha wisconsin um the pumper itself is from 76, 75 chassis, 76 pumper. The unit is powered by a Caterpillar 3208 non-turbo. Um, of course, you know, it's uh, got leaves and everything all over the place. Uh, it's a four-speed automatic. Um, just a good little truck. Now, of course, this kind of takes two hands usually. To shut but we're gonna try there we go we're gonna go ahead and catch latches and now she's down now of course you know I've already fired it up a couple of times today so she's not gonna be a cold start video but all right so before I get to turning it on and making all sorts of noises we'll do a we'll do a general walk through this cab to start uh, over here of course bad lighting but over here we've got uh, the reel turn it on turn it off those are the booster reels in the back which we'll get to in a little bit we got the warning lights got wipers clearance lamps and then over here we've got headlights and marker lights we've got compartment lights for outside in the back then these four switches we got beacon we got rear we got white we got front those are all my emergency lights. This is the pump for the PTO, the uh, air brakes. That's the, uh, right now, air brakes are on, air brakes off, blah, blah, blah. I've already talked about the lights. This is a lighter, simple, you know. They, they now call it a 12-volt accessory, but <laughs> back in the day, it was a lighter. Because actually, over here, boom, is a ashtray. Uh, transmission temperature light. Then we got the battery cutoff, um, which is two stages. One, two, and then both over on this side. Off is here. Of course, once I've forgotten to turn that off, came down to dead batteries. So, you know, it is what it is. So here we got vents, which I don't know if I'm going to be able to really show it, but down. Yeah, you see just above the pedals there, there's a little blue light. Not really blue, but that's... Uh, see if I can get my finger right over there that's the vent so that way it lets some fresh air in because sitting over this motor whoo, it's pretty hot then here's your throttle siren horn that will take your city horn this one here which right now obviously won't work because the battery is off but uh, you'll either have your horn or if you switch it to siren this thing used to have a federal signal EQ2B so you could operate that and it would go woo, 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 and all that, of course. Uh, you got your emergency stop. Then this here was your siren brake for the EQ2B. Then you got your PA mic and you got your uh, your hours. And then a nice little glove box, heater box. And you got your old school strobe pack right there, your automatic transmission, another gauge. Then you've got this here, which is a firefighter siren. Now, this is definitely not original. This is actually, I'd say, from the 60s. I threw this one in because prior to this, I threw in a period correct federal signal director. 
Unfortunately, that director ended up having some uh, audio feedback, and uh, so I've replaced it with that one temporarily. Now, when I purchased the truck, it had a 1990s era Code 3 V-Con siren, which worked beautifully, but I didn't like it because it was not time correct. So um, right now I've got this one in here. I, my plan is to put in another director at some point. And of course I got my flag for when I do uh, events like uh, parades and whatnot, car shows. So anyways, we're gonna switch the battery to the on position. We'll go to both. We'll turn the key. Fires up like she's brand new, and she pretty much is because if you look, it's only got 38,624 miles on it. That's the thing with fire trucks, they don't get used very often, so they do a hell of a lot more sitting than anything. Of course, I didn't get to this. We got the tachometer, we got the uh, amperage, which I believe that one works. This one's empty. Speedo, fuel gauge, and temperature gauge, these both don't work, and then my air gauges. Of course, we got the two spotlights. We got one on this side and one over on that side. Um, I've switched them out to LED. Every once in a while, they said that uh, when I picked this thing up, they said that uh, the headlights will just die. They'll, they'll, they won't work. Um, they think it's in the switch for the high beams because they said it usually happened when they were switching it. So it happened to me once the day I pulled, took it home. That happened to me. So I switched it out with the LEDs to make it a little bit brighter. They said they've used these you know just in place of the headlights and, and it seems to work so of course then you got my little firefighting buddy that i got from uh a former co-worker friend mike rodden he sits there i don't have a name for him but he is there of course then we got the uh, air horn i'd like to replace him with grover but you know uh... okay so now we'll get to the exterior light so white will operate that one there Beacon will operate the light bar on top, rear and front operate the other lights, obviously. All right, so here she is. She's got the Aerodynic Aero Twin light bar on top. That was purchased in 1984. I've got the original bill of sale on the paperwork, and we'll get that in uh, a little bit. Then we got the Mars 888 light, white light in the center there. Then we got some flashers. I believe they're welding, not 100% sure. And then we've got some Smith & Wesson pancake lights on the bumper. We got the intake there. We don't have the hose down there. I've still got to buy one of those. Come over to the side. We've got some halogen work lights. We got uh, our cross or layover uh, hoses there. I've got about 400 feet there, 200 per side. We got the booster reels. We got all the pump knobs and switches and pulleys and everything. Actually, you know what? I'll, I'll get inside in a little bit. Let's go ahead and walk around. We got more Smith & Wesson pancake lights up top. And then you're not gonna be able to see because strobes don't usually pick up on, on camera. There you go, you should've saw that. Flashes, it's just a double flash back and forth. Whaling, um, whaling strobes. And now again, a pancake light there, so. Now before I turn it off, it just, just listen to that. That's a beautiful sound. One more thing before we turn it off. We'll go ahead and we'll give this a little spin. Of course, it doesn't have a brake on it either, so you kind of have to let it wind down. So now that we've got it turned off, now I can I can talk and you'll be able to hear me. Um, so yeah, we anyways we got the uh, we got the pumper unit here. Far as I know, it should still all work. Um, I picked this up just when it came out of service, so it was it was working up until December 30th of 2018. Need to get that fixed. That's new. Um, but uh, oops, there we go. But uh, yeah, it uh, in theory should still work. I haven't had the opportunity to run it yet. So it's been sitting for two years. It might leak now. I might have to worry about some seals and that. But uh, in theory, it should still work. 
So over here we've got just a little compartment. I don't have anything in it. I've got some dunnage over on the other side, batteries and nothing down there. There should be, uh, I believe, a water can down there, but I don't have one. I do have, however, a lot of air packs, um, most of which have been donated to me from the department that I am on. Um, they're all out of date. They can't, they can't be in service anymore, so um, they've given them to me to put in here because they're a little bit more time correct like i said i put on the cross lays that one there looks like hammered crap i need to redo it i was in too much of a hurry um when i did it so the other one looks all right booster reels and unfortunately you can really tell that they've been out in the sun too long because if you look and my fat finger is going to get in the way that red there that's how they should look um, but unfortunately they've gotten sun bleached from sitting out here got a strainer over there then we come over here we got another big compartment um, which all these bags here are full of masks that I've had that I bought separate from the truck but uh, we've got a strainer for the uh, the uh, hard section and then we've got uh, an assortment of uh, some nozzles here they came with the truck and this hose here that came with the truck as well and then we come to the back compartment which uh hopefully you'll be able to see i've got a pike pole that came with it again an air pack that did not we come over here if there's any lighting which of course there isn't um we'll zoom in there we go um we've got an original flashlight and you'll see on it, it says wabash township 606 we'll get to that in a second another place for a water can and we came with some spreaders and cutters um, I haven't hooked these up yet, but in theory they should work. We got the uh, hydro, uh, hydraulic hoses in there. It's a Kinman, as far as I can remember. Got another uh, wheel of hose there. Then we've got the generator back here. It's a Briggs and Stratton seven horsepower. I have not had this fired up. I've tried a couple of times. Um, I think it needs a new carb or carb cleaned or, or something. It's just not firing up. Um, for whatever reason um, Yeah, see it's totally not uh, But it also needs a new switch down here for the for the power the 110 and the 220 the plug is somewhere back there for the uh, Halogen work lights, so they'd plug in back here um, as well as the jaws set up um, Like I said everything is in this here. That's a pain in the dink to have to get out of there so i'm not gonna worry about it uh of course up here we got the hose bed i got some large diameter hose ldh that i need to put in there um i've got the hard suction they came with the truck and then i got more uh inch and a half there that i've tucked just to kind of put it away i got more down there as well but i think i got like 800 feet of hose it was cheap and again more air packs um more place for another flashlight and uh, water tank of course big old big old tires and then of course we got one more compartment full of you guessed it, more air packs what can i say uh I, I i like air packs this side here didn't have anything i've got the original tarp for the bed in the back there and then another air pack and like i said i got dunnage up in there i've got some spanner wrenches um i've repainted these once just to kind of make them i mean they looked worse than this so i just kind of cleaned them up a little bit and then just threw some spray paint on it they look like hammered crap again and then you got your your inlets and your discharges um yeah i mean what else can i say i do need to get some ladders for this side though uh that's one thing i'm missing now the nice thing about buying this direct from the fire department was the fact that I know the history of this truck. Wabash Township, remember that 606, that was the original purchasing department back in 76. Um, Wabash Township is up in Tippecanoe County in Indiana. They purchased it originally and then about 17 years ago they uh, sold it to West, Le uh, West Lebanon indiana and then they had it until two years ago so they had it about 15 years uh two years ago i purchased it uh december 31st of 2018 
But what's really cool is when I got the truck, I also got paperwork with it. And a lot of it was just um, the papers from like the pump tests and that sort of stuff. I got a few years of that and a very little bit of the maintenance. But what's really cool is I got photos of when this truck was refurbished. Now the photos look like they're from the 90s. But like I said, the light bar up there, that is not original to this truck. That was purchased in 1984. So I don't know if the truck was refurbished in 84 and that's when the photos are from. I, I don't know, the I, I can't figure the actual dates on that. But what used to be up there, I know, what used to be up there was on the roof was some federal signal beacon ray lights twin rays i think they were um they were on there and then they had some smaller ones i can't remember the exact models but they were federal signal on the back end of this thing so that's why i'm figuring that it was refurbished in back around 84 because that light bar i've got the original receipt for as well as those lights are not original as per the blueprints which i have this truck actually came with the blueprints of this truck now we know that it was refurbished because it's got the photos because of the light bar plus if you look just over the wheel wells there should be some peter pierce um, emblems as well as one on the front but they're not there the really cool thing is, is that i'm on a group on facebook of the manufacturer of this truck so when i got on there and i told them that i had the blueprints and i think i uploaded a photo of them somebody had commented on them and it was the guy who actually drew up the blueprints for this truck so that's pretty cool i was able to talk with him get a little bit of information and i need to sit down and really talk with him and, and find out a lot more because he's got he's got the knowledge on this truck so uh yeah that's that's my toy i mean tell me who has not wanted a fire truck of their own. What little boy never wanted a fire truck of his own?